Praise the Lord and glory to God on this beautiful Thursday afternoon while I come bearing good news to the people of Campbelltown. Hallelujah. Yes, I come bearing good news for you today. God bless you, darling. Jesus loves you so much. Put your trust in Jesus. He died for your sins. Yeah, the Bible says that for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, God bless you, brother. Jesus loves you. The Bible says for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Hallelujah. Everyone means you as well, my friend. You are not excluded in that statement, but you are included. Hallelujah. God has included you as everyone. God is no respecter of people. Hallelujah. He died for one and for all. He shed his blood for one and for all. Jesus, our soon coming King, our healer, our redeemer, our savior, died to set you free. He shed his blood for your sins so that you may receive the free gift of salvation. What a wonderful Savior that we have that He would choose to give up His glory in heaven for one and one purpose only. Jesus loves you so much, darling. Have a good day. For one and one purpose only and that to come and die on a cross for your sins and for my sins. See, He loved you so much that He couldn't bear to leave you and me in the in the state of sin that we were in, in the position that we were in, he could not bear to leave us in that position. Hallelujah. But he chose to step away from his throne and to lay down his crown and come down from heaven to earth to be crucified, to be whipped 39 times, to have a crown of thorns placed upon his head. So that you may be forgiven of all of your sins. Not just some of your sins, but all of your sins. And I'm here today to tell you that Jesus said, Hallelujah, Jesus said, God bless you, Jesus loves you so much. Have a good day. Brother, make sure you, make sure you invite him into your heart. You know, he died for your sins and he rose again. And when you enter the next life, eternity, you can only enter the kingdom of heaven if your name is written in the book of life. Hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life, then you will be cast into the lake of fire. And see, friends, God loves you and me so much that he doesn't want anyone to burn in hell. He wants you to come to the knowledge of His precious Son, Jesus Christ. He wants you to be saved. So that you, God bless you, Jesus loves you. Have a, have a nice day. Thank you, thank you. He wants you to be saved. Saved from what? Saved from eternal damnation. Saved from the lake of fire. Saved from the power of death. Hallelujah. Death has no power over the children of God. Oh, death, where is your sting? Where is your victory? See, Jesus conquered the grave. Even the grave could not hold my Jesus down. Hallelujah. Death could not hold him down. He was crucified. And just like he said it would happen on the third day, the King of all glory rose again. Glory to God. And then he ascended into the lower parts of the earth and he took the keys of death and hell of, from the devil. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. So the word of God says that everyone who believes in the Lord, even though he die, yet he will live. If you have salvation in Jesus Christ, you have inherited the free gift of eternal life. Glory to God. And salvation is a free gift, friends. It cannot be earned. Your salvation cannot be earned. 
Jesus paid the price for you. And then three days later, he rose again to life because he loves you so much. And today he's pleading with you. God bless you. Jesus loves you so much. Have a good day. Today he's pleading with you to come to him, to come and get to know him, to draw near to him, to call upon his name. The Bible says for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, they will be saved. Praise Jesus. I encourage you today, as you listen to this message, glory to God, you're listening to the gospel. This is the gospel. You might ask, what exactly is the gospel? G-O-S-P-E-L stands for God offering sinful people eternal life. The Bible says we are all sinners and we all fall short of the glory of God. There is not one who is righteous. We are all sinners in need of a savior. And we live our lives ignoring Jesus and then we come to death and then we realize that there is a life after death. See, the Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. If you're hearing this message today, harden not your hearts, but make that decision and come to Jesus. Come and get to know Jesus. Because apart from Jesus, there is no other Savior. There is no other God. Praise Jesus. I want to encourage you today if you need prayer. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you so much. Have a good day. If you need prayer, maybe you've lost all hope. Maybe you're suffering with depression, anxiety. Um, whatever it is, maybe you're suffering with sickness. Maybe you've got a bad report from the doctors. I want to encourage you today. I'm happy to, I'm happy to pray for you. Glory to God. We know there's power in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's so much power in the name of Jesus that even demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Glory to God. See, even demons are subject to Jesus. Our beautiful Savior, King Jesus, our glorious Redeemer. See, Jesus said you must be born again if you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus loves you, sister. God bless you. Call upon the name of Jesus today, sister. He wants to save your soul. You know he died for your sins on the cross and he rose again. And you know he's coming back very, very soon. Once we take our last breath and enter into eternity, there's no more chances, friends. The only time is now. While you still have breath in your lungs, that's the only time you have to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, all other, all other gods are the works of man's hands, but he and he alone is the most high God. Jesus and Jesus alone is the most high God. He is no match for Buddha. He is no match for Muhammad. Jesus is God. And he will be your judge and my judge on the day of judgment. What will your answer be on that day, friends? What will your answer be on that day? Glory to God. He loves you so much. Today he's pleading with you to come to him now. Because time is almost up, friends. Time is almost up. And our beautiful Lord and Savior, King Jesus, is coming back at an hour that you are not even thinking about. Are you ready for that day? Are you ready to meet Jesus, to stand before the Son of the living God? Or are you just living your life as if it's going to go on forever?
forever and ever and ever. Do not be deceived. The word of God says that God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, so shall he reap. Whatever you've sown in this life, be assured you will reap in eternal life. You will reap whatever it is you have sown in this life. So make sure you've called upon the name of Jesus because eternal life is what God offers you in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. And if you reject Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you can be assured that you are going to enter into destruction, eternal destruction. Jesus doesn't want anyone to go to hell. He loves you. He died for you to set you free. And he's given us authority to preach his word in this spot. Hallelujah. See, we're standing on holy ground. And this spot belongs to Jesus. Glory to God. See, the devil hates the word of God. He doesn't want us to preach the word of God because people get convicted when they hear the message of the gospel. People get convicted because of their sinful lives. But Jesus said, how can they believe unless a preacher is sent? Glory to God. Jesus loves you. Have a lovely day. Oh, God, thank you very much. God bless you too, my brother. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bye-bye. Praise Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. And today, even as I speak this message, Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart. And he says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man let me come in, I will come in and I will have sup with you and I will never ever leave you or forsake you. He's knocking on the door of your heart, friends. And he's given you free will. Only you can open the door of your heart and let Jesus in. See, when you don't have Jesus reigning in your heart, there's a God-shaped vacuum, there's a God-shaped hole that is open. And so as human beings, we tend to just fill our lives up with so much rubbish, with so much gunk. We, you know, we try to fill, we try to find anything that will bring pleasure or joy. And it's all just temporary. It's all temporary. And it's called the God-shaped vacuum for a reason. God purposely put that hole in your heart. Knowing that you would try everything that you can to bring pleasure and joy. But friend, I'm here today to tell you that the only thing that can bring you pleasure and joy and true satisfaction in this life is a relationship with your Lord and Savior, King Jesus, Jesus Christ. Drugs cannot do it. Alcohol cannot do it. The love of money and the love of worldly things cannot bring you that satisfaction. Maybe temporarily it might bring that satisfaction you're always going to wake up the next day feeling empty, feeling lost. Hallelujah. Jesus came to open the eyes of the blind. He came to find the lost. Hallelujah. Once I was lost, but now I'm found. Once I was blind, but now I can see. All thanks to our beautiful Savior, our beautiful Redeemer, King Jesus, who set me free. And I cannot help it but stand here and share the goodness of my beautiful Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I want you to know how wonderful this Savior is. I want you to know how wonderful Jesus is. That he has the power to heal you and deliver you and restore you. Only Jesus and Jesus alone has the power to save you and set you free. Glory to God. Only Jesus and Jesus alone has the power to raise you up from death. And on that day, many will be raised up. God bless you, brother. Jesus loves you. Have a good one. And on that day, all those who called upon his name will be raised up to life. The Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. 
and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. What a beautiful message it is. What a beautiful message of the gospel. Hallelujah. That why would this amazing, loving God want to come and save us? See, we are wretched, wicked sinners. We do not deserve to be forgiven. Glory to God. But He loved you so much that He chose to give up the best that He had. Yes, God the Father gave us the best that He had. He gave us His Son. But His Son, Jesus Christ, willingly chose to take our place by dying on the cross of Calvary. How amazing is that? Wrap your mind around that when you're having a bad day. That this same God who hung the stars in the sky and, and painted the moon and, and the sun in the sky and the clouds and, and spoke, let there be light and there was light. Let there be darkness and there was darkness. This same God that breathes you and me into existence, he wants to know us? What? <laughs> he wants a relationship with us? I mean, this may sound ludicrous to some of you, but I'm here today to tell you that it's the truth. Uh, hallelujah. I'm a living testimony of the love of God and what he's done in my life. And all those, many of those who've called upon the precious name of Jesus are also living testimonies. Glory to God of what Jesus has done in their lives. Praise Jesus. See, he doesn't need us. He doesn't need a relationship with us. He doesn't need to want a fellowship with us. But he wants us. He wants us to have a relationship with us. We are his creation. And he longs to know you. He longs for you to come and seek his face. He longs for you to come and seek his presence. Jesus, Jesus, beautiful Jesus, beautiful King Jesus. No one but Jesus. Only Jesus has the power to lay down his life. See, it was only the precious blood of Jesus that was blemish free, that was spotless, that was powerful enough to wash away your sins and my sins. Glory to God. And I want to encourage you today, as you're hearing this message, run to the cross. And I see a precious brother of mine coming towards me. Hey, brother. Uh, Th this precious brother. Hey, say, say hi to everyone. Hello. If all of you remember, I prayed for this brother um, sometime last year, I think it was. And, uh, and Jesus just touched his life in such a powerful way. Do you remember what, what happened, brother? I was praying for you when you saw the light of Jesus. And, and before I prayed for you, you said, Oh, Jesus will never forgive me of my sins. There's too many. And once I prayed for you, you instantly said to me, Now I know I have been forgiven. Glory to God. <laughs> was, was it Reese? Reese, yeah. I remember Reese. Amen. How's the family going, that. brother? You remember? I remember. How can I forget? Because I've even got the video of you. <laughs> and you were praying. And, and, and I remember I gave you a track called um, Light, uh, Light in the Darkness. And you said yeah. as soon as I gave that to you, you literally felt light. Like you felt as, as if you had been lifted off the ground. <laughs> that's the power of Jesus. So I want to encourage you, draw near to him and trust him because he loves you so much. Oh, that's it. It's not a mistake. I keep seeing you everywhere. <laughs> no, draw near to him and read the Bible, hey, because he, it's all oh. about relationship, Reese. That's it. Be blessed, brother. Be blessed. How are you, sweetie? God bless. Nice to see you. Hello, girls. Hello! Oh, girl and boy. Oh my goodness, they've grown so much. Oh, you like you like the sound, do you? You like it? <laughs> you have a lovely day. Look after mommy and daddy, okay? Bye! Bye-bye. See you. God bless you. God bless you. Take care.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. So my precious brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you as you're hearing this message to draw near to Jesus. The time is now. The time is now to step out of the world. Jesus said, come out of her unless you partake in her sins. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Have a nice day. God bless you. Lest you partake in her sins. Jesus. 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 Beautiful Jesus. Beautiful Savior. God bless you, beautiful lady. Jesus loves you so much. Praise God. There's power in the name of Jesus. What can wash away your sins? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. You cannot save yourself, friend. It's not enough to be a good person. Your good works cannot enter you into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said that it is not by your works that you are saved. It's not because of your goodness that we get to receive the gift of salvation. It's not because of your merit, of what you did, or of who you helped. It's because of what Jesus did, the Savior, the King of glory, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ is the visible image of God the Father. Do you know him? Do you know Jesus? Have you acknowledged him? Have you called upon his name? What are you waiting for? Have you called upon the name of Jesus? See, the sands of time are running out. The Lord cries out, who will declare my name? The Lord cries out to humanity, who who will shout my name in the middle of the nation? Will you take up your cross and follow Jesus? Will you run into the loving arms of Jesus? Will you call upon the precious name of Jesus? Will you shout the precious name of Jesus in the middle of the nations? Or are you ashamed of him? Are you embarrassed of Jesus? The beautiful Savior who died to set you free. Glory to God. He was whipped and he was beaten. And by his stripes we are healed. They placed a crown of thorns on his head. Glory to God. They placed a crown of thorns on his head so that he could place a crown of pure gold on your head. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They stripped him naked so that you could be robed with his righteousness. Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And they bound him in chains so that you and I could be set free. What a wonderful Savior. What a precious Redeemer. Ultimately, he died so that you and I could live. Yes, Jesus died so that we could receive the free gift of life. What a beautiful Savior. What a beautiful gift. Beautiful Jesus. Beautiful Jesus. Precious Savior. I want to encourage you today, don't be ashamed of that precious Savior. See, we are fools for Christ. We're not ashamed of our King. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of him in this sinful and adulterous generation, then he too will be ashamed of him when you stand before him on that day in front of his Father who is in heaven. 
Jesus said, if you deny him before men, then he too will deny you before his Father who is in heaven. And ultimately, Jesus said that if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father who is in heaven. Eternity is forever. Choose this day whom you will serve. Because today is your only opportunity. Today is the day of salvation. And Jesus is alive. And he wears the crown of victory. Glory to God. So the Bible says that everyone will have to stand before God on the day of judgment. And we will all have to give an account of the lives that we lived on earth. What will your account be on that day, my friend? Will your name be found written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Or will Jesus say the most dreaded words of all humanity to you? Will you hear the words, depart from me, I never knew you? I think they're the scariest words in all existence that any man or woman could ever hear. When they stand before the living God, the judge of heaven and earth on the day of judgment. And when God has to utter those words to you because you knew him not. Because you lived your life in this world purposely ignoring him, purposely rejecting him, purposely denying him. Be wise, my friends. Be wise. Jesus is the only way. There is no other way. There's no other road. There's no other pathway. There's no other God. There's no other savior. There's no other healer. There's no other deliverer. No one else was risen from the grave. Only Jesus rose from the grave three days after he was crucified. And because he rose from the grave, he has the power to raise you and me to life on that wonderful day when he calls us home to be with him in glory. Glory to God. You don't want to miss heaven and end up in hell, friends. You don't want to miss heaven and end up in hell, friends. So please heed this message, heed this warning that Jesus is Lord and Saviour and Jesus is coming back very, very soon. And Jesus is the only Saviour and he's the only Deliverer. Come and get to know beautiful Jesus. Come and get to know our beautiful King. For he and he alone is God. All other gods are the works of man's hands. All other gods are idols. They can't save you. They cannot do anything for you. Jesus' arm is mighty to save. His arm is not too short that it cannot save. Praise you, Jesus. Glorify your holy name, Jesus. So Father God, I just lift up this day and I just thank you for every individual person that's passing by today, Father God, and everyone that's heard your word today, Father God. And I just pray that you bless every individual person and they will all come to know you as Lord and Saviour, Father God. Hallelujah. And that you may reveal yourself to them in such a powerful way that, that they will know that you are the living God. And that apart from you, there is no other God. There is no other Saviour. I pray for deliverance, I pray for healing, I pray for sanctification, I pray for purification. I pray, Father God, that you cause people, Father God, to have a hunger and a thirst for your word. Hallelujah. I ask that you will pour out your Holy Spirit on all the people of this, this city, Father God, this nation, Father God, all the nations of the world. We intercede.
that many will hear this message, Father God, from all around the world, that many will be convicted, that many will understand that, that they can come as they are. Because you said, come as you are. I just pray for your will to be done in everyone's lives, Father God. As we draw near to the end, Lord Jesus, you've commanded us, Lord, you've commanded us to rise up. Hallelujah. To rise up and preach in season and out of season. You've commanded us to preach your word. You've commanded us to lay our hands on the sick. Hallelujah. To cast out demons in your name. Glory to God. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit that delivers us. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit that resides in us. Thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit as an inheritance of the things which are to come. Precious Lord Jesus. I give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. And I thank you that even while, while I stood here, Father God, you protected me and you surrounded me with your holy angels. And there was no police that came to remove me because you specifically said, Go, daughter, go. I will protect you. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. All right, brothers and sisters, may you be blessed. And I encourage you to draw near to Jesus. If you haven't yet been saved, you don't know how to get saved, I encourage you to say the sinner's prayer, the prayer of salvation. Invite Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and your Saviour. Because Jesus died so we may have a relationship. Just repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, I believe that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for my sins. And on the third day, you rose again. I repent of all of my sins. And I ask you right now, Jesus, to come into my heart and to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Deliver me, heal me, restore me, guide me and lead me in the way that I should go. Dear Jesus, give me a hunger for your word and give me a hunger to worship you in spirit and in truth. I thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Precious brothers and sisters, if you repeated that prayer that I just said, You've just used your free will to acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Saviour. You've opened your heart to Jesus, your Saviour, and you've invited him to come into your heart. I want to encourage you now to get yourself a Bible. And begin to read the Word of God. Hallelujah. Because as you read the Word of God, Jesus will be speaking to you through his Word. Hallelujah. See, there is power in the Word of God. The Word of God is a giant love story from God to us. It's about His precious Son, Jesus Christ, how He came to die for us. But more than that, it's like an instruction manual of how we are to live until we meet our, our, our Saviour in glory. B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Glory to God. So it's like an instruction manual as well as a, a great love story from God to you and me. Get into the Word of God. Read the Word of God. And most importantly, the Bible says do not gather, or do, do not, glory to God. The Bible says do not forsake the gathering together of believers. It's important. It's important that you find a group of believers or, or a good, spirit-filled, born-again church, hallelujah, that's preaching the word of God. See the, see, see, the devil wants you to be isolated. He wants to isolate you. He wants you to think that you don't need um, to surround yourself with, with believers. He wants you to think that all you need is yourself. And the devil is such a liar. Because Jesus would never have said, do not forsake the gathering together of believers. When you gather together with believers, it edifies you. You can encourage each other, lift up each other in prayer. Hallelujah. 
I encourage you, do not be deceived. God wants you to have fellowship with other believers. Even if it's just home church, make sure you're not you know, on this walk alone without any other believers encouraging you or praying for you. Glory to God. I, I encourage you also get water baptized. The importance of getting baptized. See, Jesus, Jesus got baptized and as he got baptized, that was an example of what we are to do. Everything that he did, hallelujah, we must obey. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Glory to God. And of course, we're not saved by baptism, but it is, it, it is one of the things that, that Jesus did. You're saved because you called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I encourage you, I've baptized many people who were walking in the Lord for a long time. They had said the sinner's prayer at one point in their lives. They had said the sinner's prayer at one point in their lives. But they weren't living, they weren't truly living for Jesus. They could not conquer sin. Glory to God. And it's only when I baptized them that literally they were filled with the Spirit and they just began to I have such a hunger and a desire for the Lord Jesus to serve Him and to live for Him. And so I want to encourage you to do the same. That's what Jesus commands us to do. Glory to God. See, Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me. Praise Jesus. There's so much power in His name. And He's coming back so soon. And I didn't mean for this to be a long video, but um, I believe it will bless and encourage many of you. As I, I don't rush the Holy Spirit. I, I'm led by Him and glory to God. And when He says, that's it, it's finished, it's finished. <laughs> so now uh, that's the end of my video, my precious family in Christ. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your encouragement. Um, we're living in exciting times. And um, our beautiful King is coming back very, very soon. And so um, keep looking up because your redemption does, surely does draw near. Hallelujah. May you all be blessed. May you all be blessed, brothers and sisters, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.